Welcome back, y'all, to another video. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do um, Aquarius, okay? So Aquarius, this is going to be from uh, December 1st through the 7th, okay? So we're going to see what energy is coming towards y'all, what we can get. Yes, yes, what we can get, get, get. Let's see. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this deck right here. Aquarius. What messages are there for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus. <laughs> What message is there for my Aquarius for December 1st through the 7th? Oh my gosh, 2020 is about to be out of here. All right. All right. First card is balance. Okay, yeah, it looks like Aquarius... There needs to be some type of balance, okay? Some of you need to see things from other people's viewpoints um, and seek out mentors or like-minded people. So I'm getting like mentally balanced, okay? Being mentally balanced here, okay? All right, we got Queen of Water. This is um, Be More Loving, and caring, okay? The Queen of Water is like the Queen of Cups, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy balances justice. So some of you could be dealing with the Libra. But I'm just hearing be more loving, okay? We got the lovers as well as the Empress. I'm getting respect. Um, show love and care, okay? I'm getting like you guys are being more or some of you guys need to get more in tune and balance with your emotions. I feel like um, this is saying that as well, like to show some tender love and care. That's what I'm getting. The lovers and the empress, very beautiful energy. Very beautiful energy. Okay, I'm getting someone is um, the page of earth and the moon. I'm getting lots of Pisces energy, but the moon is also things that are hidden, that are kept a secret. Okay, so some of you guys may hide your feelings about someone. We got the king of air, which is you guys' energy. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, queen of earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Give me a second, y'all. All right, I had to cut my AC down because I was a little hot. All right, so I'm definitely getting like to be to balance yourself uh, mentally and emotionally. You know, seeing things from a different perspective, from someone else's perspective. Okay, give me one more card for Aquarius. Okay, Knight of Water, lots of water here. Okay, but this is a this is communication. This is being caring and loving, being open and you know opening your heart, your mind, all of that. Falling in love, um, the need to balance emotions. This could even be an invitation to an event or some sort. But we got five of waters. Okay, the five of water. This is you know the regrets card. Okay, maybe you're going to look back at a situation and regret saying something possibly to a water sign or a Libra. Um, I'm seeing that as well. The three of earth. Yeah, I'm getting like maybe regretting doing business with someone or working together with someone. Something got exposed. Okay, the sun card is here. The sun card is here. You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, but the sun comes to illuminate. The sun comes to bring forth 
you know, that clarity, things being brought to the light. I did see the moon card, which I did feel like maybe things were kind of like you were in the dark about something. Now things are coming to the light. Okay. Ten of air and three of fire. I feel like... You were waiting. Okay, I feel like you're done waiting. You're done waiting. You've got to the point where you could be done waiting to kind of like bring unity to the situation. I feel like you're done communicating. I feel like for some of you, this could have been in business. Like, you don't want to um, involve yourself or you don't want to be included, or you feel like you aren't included. Um, I'm getting like there's a, a, a unit thing. The thing about not being involved, or you don't want to be involved um, in any of the meetings or you know talks about something. I'm feeling like somebody's trying to get you to lean over more to their side or see things their way. That's what I'm getting. Like. Being more understanding to other, someone else's viewpoint is what I'm definitely getting. All right, I'm going to turn the cards this way because it's going to confuse me. <laughs> so I want to get a clarifier for each of these cards. All right, balance. Yeah, I'm getting like you wish you would have waited to make a decision. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm getting like you wish that you would have waited to make a decision. Could be involving a Leo for sure, for sure. Nine of Cups, the Magician, and the and the Judgment. Yeah, it's kind of like I'm hearing wish to wish you were the way to make a final decision. Now things are looking like weirded out. Things are weird. Nine of Swords, Queen of Wands. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with the Fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, yeah, I'm getting kind of like it's out of your hands now. Somebody's bringing up drama. Somebody's talking, going back and forth. I'm getting like drama. Okay, talking about the past, bringing up old stuff. And somebody's starting to bring in lies. There's a lot going on here. Let me go get a drink. There's a lot going on. Y'all got a lot going on. For sure, for sure. And I know what I know. And I know. All right. All right, so uh okay, well, this just jumped out. The ace of cups. Okay, this is about how you feel. Okay, like I said, somebody's trying to change how someone feels, okay. I'm not sure if it's you guys that's doing it or somebody that's doing it towards you, but I'm getting like somebody's trying to alter somebody's viewpoint on how they see things or how something was done. Queen of Water. Three of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles. This is business. This is definitely business or work related. Somebody definitely needs to work on how they express themselves. Um, the Ten of Wands here is someone spilling burden or burnt out. But I'm getting at one point in time there was a you the situation was fun at one point in time. I'm sorry y'all, I keep getting up.
Okay. A package came through for me. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so at one point in time, it looked like this thing was fun. Like, everything was fun all at one time. Like, you may have been doing business with this person. This I'm getting like this. Some I'm getting that it's work related. I'm getting that it's work related. Justice. Like, you was doing business with this person. And... There's that queen of cups. There she go. And like I said, something came to the light. Okay, something came to the light. Somebody said that somebody was broke or somebody said that they weren't doing nothing. Something I'm getting. But somebody is now regretting what they said. Somebody is now regretting something that they said. And there's that lovers and the empress again. Now, didn't these two cards come out together in the beginning of the reading? The lovers and the empress. The lovers is Gemini's energy. And the empress is Taurus energy as well as Libra. So you could be dealing with one of those signs. But I'm just getting like, I'm getting like loving yourself or putting yourself first, self-love. But I'm just getting like there's some, some type of business deal going bad or some type of something going bad. And see, these the two cards came out as well. No, it was the three of wands and the ten of swords. Okay, so something didn't go as planned. Something didn't go as planned. There could have been a breakup or a split a business partner, you know, uh, whatever the connection is, there was some type of split. And it's about, it could be involving money. Somebody's greedy, king of pentacles, ten of pentacles, devil, somebody. <laughs> hmm. I want to kind of say like soul, they soul. But see, yeah, this is a lot. This this is a lot. This is a lot. I do want to see why this Queen of Cups and this Justice card keeps coming out. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Five of Pentacles. Somebody left or felt left out, so they left. And there's constant drama. There's constant back and forth, like a battle. Back and forth. Somebody's lying, taking shots. Okay. I'm here. You know where I'm at. Like, there's, there's this literally, I'm, I'm literally hearing like a disagreement, a battle. For sure, for sure. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The Hermit. Yeah, somebody definitely got left out. Somebody said that they was going to pay somebody something. Try to... Uh, something about somebody's money. Somebody tried to pay somebody for something. There's a lot going on. Herman, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Yep, like I said, Ten of Swords and Two of Wands, things just didn't go as planned. Now somebody's regretting something that they said. Okay, the Knight of Cup, the Knights of Water. Knight of Water. There's that Empress. She just flew out, okay? So there's the Empress. Somebody's tried to do the right thing and be... The stand-up person here. Be the bigger person here. Somebody tried to do the right thing. Okay. But I'm getting like there could be a Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody was saying that they would pay somebody for something. Why is the Empress here? Two of Cups. This could be someone's mother. Someone's mother, aunt, sister could be involved. Money's involved in this too. Yeah, it's like...
King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you guys, it's energy. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. But it's like somebody leaves um, and somebody thought that they was going to pay them. Like I said, Ten of Pentacles and a Chariot. Mm-hmm. And you didn't like how somebody was moving or how somebody came or you didn't like it. You didn't, you really didn't like it. Somebody tried to sneak off on you and then not pay you, um, or something to that, something to that, uh, something to that nature. Something to that nature. Let me see. Let's pull the Kipper deck and let's see what's, what the Kipper deck has to say. I'm going to just pull three cards. Give me a message for Aquarius from December 1st to the 7th. Because Aquarius seems like they got a lot going on. There's a mature woman involved in this. Okay. There's an older woman involved. There's a main female. There's lots of females. There's lots of females involved in this situation. It's two or more females. And judification, okay? So that justice card could have been there because someone, you know, could have caught the police or got someone, uh, you know, <sighs> dealing with the court system. Okay. For some of you, this is family related. We got family room and concern. So that could be the case for some. But I'm getting like there's a something going on between two females. Two females here that's that may need to go up to a higher level to to be judged, okay? To like get some straightening. I'm getting like there needs to be some straightening on the situation. It seems like you and this other party can't come together or see eye to eye on the situation. So for some of you, you may have to take it to court. You may have to go sit in front of a judge, or you may have to go to a higher level if it's family-oriented. You may have to take it to the elders in the family to see, you know, how they feel about it, see if they can help squash the situation. If this is work-related, some of you have to go to HR. Some of y'all just have to take it up to the next level, okay? Because I'm getting that there's some type of thing going on between two females here, Okay. All right, so you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I will chat with y'all next time, all right? Ciao for now.